huge number of suicidal deaths have been reported in the country and across the globe. Depression is the second named mystery in all these cases. But how do you deal when you're a victim? KUTV's Paulette Mbuga brings us the stories of two depression survivors, Emily Wairimo and Helen Kanyora, who are trying to make a difference in their society. The first time, um, I, I bought poison, put it in a bottle. People cannot tell I'm depressed. Mm -hmm. Sorry for that. Cases of youth suicide have been on the rise. It should be noted that not all suicide cases are as a result of depression. But depression has been a major factor in the near past. These are some of the reported cases. In September 2018, Titus Ndirangu, a second year student at the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology committed suicide after confessing having suicidal thoughts. March 23rd this year, Millicent Muriki took to her Facebook page to bid her three-year-old daughter goodbye saying, and I quote, My love, I can't find words that will form a perfect statement to express how much I love you. I have fought the battle, but it seems I'm almost losing it. End of quote. A 2017 report by the World Health Organization said, Kenya had the sixth highest number of depressed people in Africa. 1.9 million depression cases were reported that year alone. But what exactly is depression and what are its symptoms? Depression is a psychiatric condition that affects uh, all uh, groups of people, all ages. Uh, very young children can suffer from depression. Uh, teenagers do suffer from depression. Young adults do suffer from depression. There is a change in mood. Dr. Arthur Murioki explains some of the factors that contribute to depression family history. Do you of mental illness? Does anyone in your family suffer from a similar condition or exhibit these symptoms? How do you interact with the people around you? Are they, are they very aggressive? Are they very judging? Are they very discriminatory? Are they uh, punitive? Do, are you constantly being shouted at and being beaten? or looked down upon or very a lot of negativity around you so that your whole world now becomes very negative. Is there violence at home? Meet Helen Kanyora, a depression recovering patient. She has found comfort within her psychiatrist, Dr. Frida Kamiti, who describes her as someone who is optimistic about life. When I first met Helen, she came to, she actually came to um, one of the hospitals, local hospitals here in uh, town. Her symptoms presented, she could not sleep, she could not eat, she um, was crying, um, she talked about having, uh, experiencing headaches. I'm a surviving um, patient, or rather a recovering patient. <laughs> with depression. My depression came about from narcissistic abuse. According to Dr. Kamiti, acceptance helps lessen the load, making one believe they are not alone. Part of a community. She works, she has children, she's a mother, she has, she has parents, she has siblings. We try to actually have that um, multidisciplinary kind of um, uh, group to be able to help a patient. Dr. Kamiti says that in most depressed patients, communication becomes a problem since the patient feels embarrassed to express how they feel. Emily Wairimo, a depression survivor, is a spoken word artist and the founder of Art Hill Foundation, which aims at creating awareness on mental health. I was on a suicidal spree. I tried um, taking my life three times. Fortunately, it didn't, it didn't succeed, and that's why I'm here. Yeah, but I remember, like, even at that time, nobody really knew about it. Nobody knew what I was struggling with. Her first encounter with suicidal attempt was when she was 12 years old. Her environmental home setting is what triggered her depression. 
fast forward to 2013 and I lost my sister. Uh, and for us, that was a, like a heavy, heavy blow. I remember my mom falling into depression almost immediately. Um, and when she fell into depression, she that really affected me because someone I really, really love. And um, we didn't know what it was at the moment. While the world is trying to deal with the high number of deaths caused by depression, Kenyans like Emily Wairimu and Helen Kanyora are trying to make a difference in a world they all know too well, a step at a time. Paulette Mboga, KUTV.